Was he a trained wrestler prior to being a referee? Or did they just gas him up and put no, him they, in? Yeah, they, they, he was trained. Danny never was that great, really great wrestler. <laughs> he, wasn't, he wasn't a great referee either. You know, he was. <laughs> so who did he know? Was he French yeah, Canadian? I don't know. You know, just that's a Pat Patterson. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, really. I mean, seriously, that that's just another Pat Patterson. Oh, make the know. referee a wrestler, and yeah, yeah. You know, some some complete off the wall bullshit. Like, okay, that's there's a Pat Patterson. You know, <laughs> if you literally look. Closely between the lines throughout the years, you'll see them all over the place. How much of the success of WWF? Let's see if we can sh give a little shine to Pat now. So we've been riding him the whole time. Well, I gotta watch how I say that. Um, riding Pat Patterson. Um, how much of the success of the '80s would you give him credit for? His decisions. Well, I mean, he, his using he, talent he, the right he's way. He's a great. Uh, he has great vision. Great, he was a great talent in the business. You know, him and uh, Ray Stevens were were a tag team, and and, and but back, when he had the back pencil. in the early days, but when he had he had he had really he had good ideas. He had bad ideas, just like anybody else. He was in a position to to, but he was in a great position to to make things happen.